Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Are you ready to say goodbye to cheap XRP? I'll tell you what, I sure as hell am. Now, I'm patient, I'm as patient as they come, but yes, I'm definitely ready to see the bull phase. I'm ready to see XRP hit their new all-time high. I'm ready to see XRP enter price discovery. But uh, what's cheap XRP anyway? It's always subjective, right? At the beginning of the year, mind you, XRP was what? About 32 cents? At the time I'm recording this, it's about 62 cents, so about double what it was just at the beginning of the year. So, you know, double the price. Like, directionally, it's doing what we're doing. Um, but even with it being in the realm of about 100% higher compared to earlier this year, at the beginning of this year, it still looks, relatively speaking, cheap to me. I just don't think it's going to stay here very long. And there are so many reasons. And we'll talk a little bit from... Uh, you know, a, 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 a technical analysis perspective, just um, not that I'm not, I don't do technical analysis, as you know, but I want to share with you perspective from a couple individuals who are uh, putting their necks on the line, actually putting out targets, some with actual timelines. That's always seeming particularly risky to me. But even outside of anything chart oriented, just in, in, outside of the things having to do with uh, chart analysis, there are broad expectations from industry participants, uh, specifically leaders executives at major cryptocurrency exchanges who behind the scenes right now are ramping up their readiness for what they see as an inevitable dramatic overnight increase uh, in terms of uh, crypto uh, volume just, just on the whole. And it's interesting because there's this article I want to run through part of this with you. It's from Cointelegraph titled, Strap Yourselves In, Bull Market Coming Early 2024, Say Crypto Exchange Heads. And these are exchanges that are pro XRP. They offer XRP, and in fact, uh, one of the uh, one of the exchanges that is uh, executives who's covered in this article is uh, part of a, an exchange that is actually a, a, a uh, an on demand liquidity partner with Ripple. They could not be more pro XRP, and they have been. I uh, I want to say since like 2017. So if you ever wonder if it's just you or you just the crazy person that's playing around with the magic internet money, the answer is no. There are a ton of very wealthy and very intelligent individuals and executives out there who are absolutely counting on the same type of activity that you are. And as far as I'm concerned, although it's not a certainty, it's a virtual certainty. Like, we're going to be seeing that type of activity. And when it comes to XRP, I don't make price predictions. I could be wrong and it goes to zero. I admit that. But I think it's going to be worth a damn fortune. And I am ready to say goodbye to cheap XRP. <laughs> But uh, but before going any further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Uh, now, Bitcoin, by the way, it's 37875 bucks according to Live Coin Watch at the time that I'm recording this video. Uh, but got to mention yesterday, and I'm sure most of you are aware by now, Bitcoin hit a 2023 high of uh, something like 30, what was it, 38,300, something like that. So it was briefly above the $38,000 price level. And, you know, it's just one of those things, again, at the beginning of the year, here, I'll head to, here's a year-to-date uh, price chart for Bitcoin. It was what? About 16,000, 16,600. So more than double from the beginning of this year. And it's, it's just, like I keep saying, it's one of those things, it always seems impossible until it happens, and then still, you let enough time pass, even at this price level, you'll still get some people that start to lose hope, but my God, it's clearly not many people, not at these price levels. Most people at these price levels are recognizing, yeah, this, this isn't just some sort of uh, thing that's a uh, flash in the pan. So people are, it looks like, a lot of people are getting out of disbelief. I mean, look at the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, 73 out of 100. Y'all a bunch of greedy sons of bitches as far as this chart says, right? 73 out of 100. Wasn't it just last year when it was at six? <laughs> I think it was literally, is that five or six? I, I'm pulling from memory, but I'm almost certain it was at like five or six a year ago. Now it's at 73. And as I said back then, I, I don't know how long it will take, but inevitably at some point we'll be out of extreme fear and back into greed and ultimately extreme greed. And there will be extreme greed again. Um, take a look at this. Here's perspective from... Um, Chart analyst, Dark Defender, XRP chart analyst, and he put out this post a couple days ago. He's sharing three price targets that he's looking for in a timeline with them. Uh, now, he did miss one of them, but uh, I just, I want to track it because, look, I'm glad I'm not a technical analyst because, well, first of all, I find it boring as hell, and I just, 
I don't need the additional scrutiny, all right? We all get yelled at. All of us YouTubers, no matter what we do, we get yelled at by the internet because it's the internet. That's fine. I don't mind that. I got a thick skin. It's fine. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the chart guys, man, they get it bad. And especially if they're wrong. So I appreciate all the chart analysts. But uh, what I'm going to do here is just note what they're putting out into the public, what their expectations are. And we're just going to track who's right about what and, uh, and, and why. If we can <laughs> glean anything so far. And, um, and, and you know, it, it's, it always seems so risky to me, even though I'm not a chart guy, j just to put out a, a timeline uh, for, for whatever your belief is, whatever ch structurally, chart-wise, you think makes sense. It, I always find it really like a risky move for them to be putting out timelines just because even if you're right in your analysis and why you think directionally so-and-so is going to happen and how a chart's likely to play out versus, you know, based on any sort of historical... Uh, price action from the past, even if you're right about that, there can be portions of a chart progression that are slower or faster than, you know, that particular, uh, the, uh, that particular chart progression in the past. So even if it's mirroring something perfect from the past, in terms of how long that takes to play out, it could be much faster, uh, it could be much slower. And so that's why I'm always like, anytime any, any analyst puts out a uh, a fairly precise timeline. I go, I don't know, man. <laughs> and I'm not a chart guy. But I'm just saying, if there's a particular, particularly tight, uh, you know, expectation in terms of when it's going to go, then I'm just uh, kind of wincing a little bit. But uh, here's an XRP USD chart from Dark Defender. And uh, he wrote the following. Hi there, all. We recently discussed the correction is over for XRP and again targeted 66.49 cents. I shared the $1.05 target before... Now, it is the first time I have shared the structure. I am expecting and basing this XRP uh, to hit 67 cents by tomorrow at the latest. So, folks, uh, nothing against them. I'm just highlighting what, what is out here. Uh, this is on November 23rd. So, it's now been over a day since then. And XRP did it shy by a good 5 cents or so, but closer to 62 cents. Um, but he has other expectations. And this is, this is the only reason I'm saying this. And again, to be crystal clear... Uh, nothing against any analyst because I'm, I, I highlight to the same thing with all sorts of analysts. I mean, how credible crypto, he's one of my very favorite analysts out there. And I hope he's right that Bitcoin's going to hit a new all-time high this year. But if he's not, I'll highlight that too because I still think he's way more right than wrong. But uh, I just want to see how expectations play out from all sorts of analysts. And then he writes, then a small correction and then rode to $0.88 cents and $1.05. If you ask me, I like the numbers. I expect to hit 88 cents between November 30th and December 1st. Not financial advice. We'll watch. And so, look, it's not that he's saying he guarantees this, but in terms of these time that that first time frame being missed, that's what he, he was indicating at a minimum was probable. So now, if you're talking about 88 cents to a buck oh five, uh, well, we're coming up against that now. So we'll know within the next few days whether that plays out. I hope so. I sure as hell would love to see this. Um, and it certainly doesn't seem impossible to me, especially if Bitcoin's going to further uh, just you know, go on a rampage, because it's always Bitcoin that leads us out of the market anyway. So I think that's ultimately coming. Uh, and then there's also perspective from Rakesh Ubede, who writes uh, for Cointelegraph, and he's their chart analyst guy. And uh, it was interesting to me because he was actually looking at that 67 cent price level for XRP as well. He just indicated he was more loose about it though he's just like yeah gradually get to 67 cents and then once that's hit uh then yeah 74 cents relatively quickly seems plausible that's the cut of his jib here and uh credible crypto i don't want to read this whole post that's on your screen although you can if you want to pause i just wanted to share the, the sentiment he, he put out a lot of reasons why he believes the market is healthy healthy and why while we're sitting uh where we are in terms of price action specifically for bitcoin uh, it's it's basically the calm before the storm. If you look at, like the fact that we're where we are and there is not su su there's not sufficient uh, sufficient environmental factors to push Bitcoin down is very telling. So he absolutely expects a continuation to the upside, and he still believes that uh, new all time high for Bitcoin is in the cards this calendar year. And again. The timeline is what makes me nervous when any analyst <laughs> puts out any sort of expectation, which is why I just say, I just think like, even if they're right, and they could be, you know, Dark Defender could be right, the Incredible Crypto could be right, it's just a, just a risky move. Because even if things unfold the way Credible Crypto wants them to, and they could, and I hope so, because again, he's one of my favorite analysts out there, uh, just, you know, uh, what if it's a month or two later? Well, there's going to be a lot of, <laughs> well, it's the internet, you know what it is. <laughs>
<laughs> but still, even, despite that, everybody... Has, I shouldn't say everybody, but it seems to be broadly expected that this isn't some sort of fake rally at this point. It's a question of how high things go, but it doesn't look to be fake, and everybody seems to accept this. Uh, here's chart analyst Michael Vandepop. He just shared a crypto total market cap chart here, and he wrote... Uh, the total market capitalization for crypto is still seeking for continuation here. Higher lows, higher highs, which means that dips are there to be bought. Next target remains $1.8 trillion. Um, and that was a, a post from this morning. And then this afternoon, he put out this uh, this post, which is, uh, and this chart is a crypto total market cap, uh, ex excluding Bitcoin. So all of the altcoins, every coin that's not Bitcoin, this is the market cap for that. And he wrote the following. The altcoin market capitalization is finally going to break out of an accumulation range. This accumulation range has been intact for the past 18 months. A breakout, and I'm expecting a rally of 50%. And so you can see, and for the last 18 months, I mean, honestly, because uh, look, I've made a, a lot of purchases over that time period, and there have been big gaps where I wasn't doing much of anything in terms of purchasing, because I've been ready for this thing to go for a long time, in particular XRP, obviously. So I'll still say for the last you know 18 months, good year and a half here, there have been a lot of times where I have been purchasing, including including recently, and I've and I've talked about that and why I've done what I've done, because to me, uh, I, I, I'm just a regular dude on the internet, right? There's nothing special about me, but I think, I mean, you got eyeballs, right? You're looking at the screen, right? You can see what an accumulation range looks like, and even if you think it's fairly broad, which I would say, yeah, that's fair, um, it it still is a range. And, and so I've been looking at this and I'm like, stuff still looks cheap. I talked about all the stuff that I bought recently and it's not like an overly sophisticated approach. I'm just looking at it relative to its all time high. And then I ask myself, do I believe the market moves in tandem? And then I lean towards cryptocurrencies that have developer activity and look like they have utility and look like they could be promising. And if they look cheap right now, then I'm interested and I bought a bunch of stuff. But we're not going to be here long. And so the same is true for XRP. It's like whether you bought XRP at 32 cents or you bought it, uh, what it's at now at the time of recording this, 62 cents, which is still like, fine, comparatively a lot higher. It's like these price points are going to look dirt cheap in the future. They, it, like, it's not going to stay here forever. XRP eventually is going to do something. And either all of us are idiots and we're all wrong and XRP goes to zero or what I think is more probable, it hits a new all-time high and melts faces going into price discovery. And it's just, just, I, I just I, it's hard to fathom all of us being this wrong, especially with all the real world adoption, like everything, whether you look at it from fundamentals, chart analysis, social media activity, it's the real world adoption. It's all there. And fine, Bitcoin leads the way because the market's immature and, and individual coins are not sufficiently parsed out based on their merits, although they are increasingly uh, parsed out based on their merits. Uh, fine. I'm happy with all that. And again, like I said at the outset of the video, it's not just us crazy internet people playing with our magic internet money. There are sophisticated executives running exchanges who are doing their best to get ready for the party. Look at this headline from Cointelegraph. I really like this article. I'm going to share, go share a little bit of it with you. Strap yourselves in. Bull market coming early 2024, say crypto exchange heads. The market has already entered the first phase of a major rally with the number of people buying crypto trickling upward, which is, the, which is expected to accelerate early next year, the heads of Australia's largest crypto exchanges believe. Independent Reserve CEO Adrian Prelozny, probably said that name wrong, it's all good, man, <laughs> told Cointelegraph he expects market activity to see an uptick in early 2024 and is hiring to build infrastructure before that happens. That's got to pause to ask, is Coinbase doing that too? Please tell me Coinbase is doing that too because, I mean, if you want to know if there's volatility in crypto markets, just try logging into Coinbase. That's your answer. In my experience, like that was my experience in 2017. And I was like, okay, well, surely they've learned their lesson by now. Nope. 2020, 2021 rolls around. Price goes bonkers. Nope. I uh, can't log in. <laughs> uh, but so hopefully, hopefully, you know, when things really get hot, they're actually going to seriously be ready here. So I, I, anyway, I appreciate it, though, that the CEO of this exchange, Independent Reserve, 
is building out infrastructure. But again, there is this anticipation from the CEO of that exchange. That, yeah, it's about to get freaking bonkers. So folks, I just driving home the point. It's not just us that thinks this. We're not living in some sort of fantasy land here. We have every reason to believe that this is highly plausible. In fact, highly likely. It's going to get really exciting. We just went through a couple years of some complete crap in terms of price action, right? Because Bitcoin topped roughly a couple years ago, and it hasn't been so hot since then. And we had all the nonsense with the SEC. Well, now XRP's got legal clarity. Now we've been digging ourselves out of this entire bare phase of market structure. This is the fun part where things go bonkers. And this is going to be great. So this will be my third one of these things once this, once this finally goes. So, you know, unless we have something, some sort of situation where stocks just collapse, oh, like, I think, I think we're there. That would, but again, so what I'm talking about then is a wild card event, a black swan event. If we have something like that with stocks, and the reason I say that is because crypto has always moved, especially for the bigger moves, in tandem with, with the stock market, just broadly speaking. So we'll keep watching what's happening there. But uh, pending something like that, I mean, other barring something like that, I, I, it seems like a virtual certainty. Here's a quote from him. We're just doing everything we can to get ready for a bull market because we know that when the bull market comes, it happens very fast. You need to make sure you have the processes, people, and infrastructure in place so when your business triples overnight, you can handle it, end quote. And that is the type of stuff that we're talking about here. In fact, tripling overnight could be way more than that. And I guess it kind of depends on what, what exchange it is. What, 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 you know, Because if you have a ton more customers and you got a lot of them dormant, yeah, it could, it could go absolutely ballistic. Uh, and then he says, uh, quote, I think the next two years are going to be good. Strap yourselves in, end quote. And then they go on to talk about another exchange called BTC Markets. Um, now, this, this particular exchange, despite BTC being in the name, uh, they've been pro XRP for a very long time. And for many years, they've been teamed up with Ripple as an on-demand liquidity partner utilizing XRP as a bridge currency. So they're all in on Team XRP. That's for damn sure. Piece reads as follows. BTC Markets Chief Caroline Bowler said market conditions had grown more bullish over the year with a general recovery that kicked off in January. Bowler added that, while the trajectory of market gains hadn't exactly been linear, the industry-wide growth in both asset prices and tech applications was a reason to be confident. And she said, quote, The current deployment of dry powder, an influx of new users, and an uptick in trading volumes further support our assessment that we are in the early stages of a bull market, end quote. <laughs> yeah. And so that's why also when I was showing you that chart that was shared by chart analyst Michael Vandepop, uh, here it is again, you know, the accumulation range of breaking out of that after 18 months. Yup, that doesn't sound crazy to me, and I don't pretend to know exactly when it's going to pop off, but I'm just looking at where prices are for so many coins. And I'm, I'm mostly interested in large and mid-cap coins. Uh, but I, I, I go coin after coin after coin, and I just look just for the fun of it, especially when I was actually about to make some purchases recently. And I just saw that there are so many things that they have mostly been about where they are for much of the year, even if they're a, a bit higher than they were in January 1st of this year. If you look at where they've been compared to the, the rest of their histories, it just seems like quite the local low for quite a period of time. And so I place some educated bets here that a lot of this stuff is going to go up. I've already talked about it, so I'm not going to go coin by coin in this video, but just to speak broadly, uh, that's what I've done. And I just, I, I have a strong suspicion, though no one can know anything for certain fine. I think that they're right. I think it's going to go bananas again in the not-too-distant future. And this year's already, it's just been a little taste with, you know, XRP being about double what it was at the beginning of the year. Same for Bitcoin. Uh, it's just been a little taste of what's to come. But like I said, this will be my third completely ridiculous euphoria stage should we get it which i believe we will uh and it's going to be a lot of fun and this will be the first one where finally i i do cash out and i take that life-changing wealth i mean unless i'm wrong and it doesn't come but i believe it's going to come um and, and this is going to be the one for me so and i'll be talking about how i'm scaling out and what i'm doing and stuff like that because those conversations are always fun i always love talking to people about what they're thinking and exit strategy so on and so forth but there's a lot to look forward to here folks it's going to be a lot of fun so, are you ready to say goodbye to cheap XRP? Well, I sure as hell am. 
I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo. <laughs>